copy here. This smells of a bit of an execute here, Henry. No P250 to speak of. You're absolutely right. So double HEs, triple smokes, but a mid push from Fade looking likely. This is a very common strategy. Try and disrespect your opponents. Don't allow them to execute whatsoever, but it's actually a deal opening things up. Rain will neutralize the situation, but they're looking like they're in a bit of hot water here, Phase Jab. Well, contained to Banana now. They're going to have to get this kill, and Rokey will be taken out of the picture by KST. Customize that kill as Carrigan back of the site needs to get a couple done. And wow, he's pinned, he's locked, and they're jumping his way. Yeah, he should be done for here. I don't think he gets a single kill, and that mid aggression can be a double edged sword. You either get all the frags very quickly, or it can fall apart, and the bomb will be planted. This might be safe territory. We've seen that a lot in Pro League so far. If it goes down to a 4 and 2, especially on a map like Inferno, you've lost a B bomb site. You might as well hold on to your armor and the little you have, and maybe look for some exits here. Yeah, just handling those jewels with a mid push, simple as you like. That late little flank coming in through second mid seals the deal. Yes. And uh, look, uh, for a lot of people, for most people, I would imagine this is their first time seeing uh, for the win esports FTW, the Phoenix, as they are, uh, in the server. And, and there's some changes from when they did qualify at the conference right. to get to this point. Obviously, Sister Dodo, you saw that little piece from Harry there talking about Saw and their run over at the Major, just getting, uh, sorry, the RMR, getting uh, knocked out by outsiders and not qualifying there. But the, the names that we have is KST, which. Before, custom. And, and until that little interview right there, yeah. we were told it was custom, but now we're back on KST. That's fine. Didius, Stododo, Agil, and this is going to be the hardest one for me to get my bloody mouth around is Aradose? Aros Dose. Okay, I'll Aros do my Dose. best. I think, yeah, I think that's what anyone can ask for, Chad. Like, uh, we've turned up here, we've done our research, and uh, names are changing on the fly, it seems, with each interview, but we're yeah. going with Aros Dose. <laughs> well, that's okay. Look, at least Hackley's out there getting us the most up to date information. Yeah, exactly. But uh, talking of which, we have got FaZe Clan who will be deploying the rifles here. Scout, a FAMAS, some Deagles, of course. Watch out for Robs, he's uh, deadly with that pistol. An MP9 for Rain, he'll be trolling towards B. That takes a bit of a nade there. Not too much damage, down to 88, and an aggressive stance here from FTW. Looking to crack open the B bomb site as they'll deploy smokes towards CT spawn as well and send to Diaz in for that first kill, which he'll actually find, but it's twist of a double, and it brings it back to a three versus three here. Yeah, got enough out of this famous, surely. Just staying stubborn and banana, plenty of time. That was aggressive, as you mentioned. They were really pushing the issue and maybe a little bit too far. Yeah, considering Aristotle is down to 31 as well, and it looks like a B finish is on the agenda here. They will have their work cut out for them. Luckily, Brogy just with a scout, no utility to speak of, will be smoked out, but he still is ready to challenge this first frag. It's the shot, KSC down to 28. That softens him up nicely. Twists have already two kills to his name, Chad. He expends quite a lot of the bullets oh. in the magazine, though. Just down to five, gets Get another double kill. He is <laughs> over the ace, and it's gonna happen. Lovely work from Twists. They answer back, it's 1-1, one, one, and it's all with the FAMAS and the USP. And you go all the way back to the saved armor on the pistol round, right? right? They knew they couldn't go for that round. They get the FAMAS into his hands, the upgrade into the head armor right there. Beautiful stuff from Twists, and I think we're back to regular programming here. This is how it all kicked off. You can see the aggression coming through because Diaz was ahead after that opening pick. I thought, yeah, let's just keep that pressure on the B bomb site, but they were so strung out. And bear in mind as well, Twist finished with 100 armor, so you actually got a helmet and the FAMAS there as well. So that's going to be a very powerful combo as Cheap seen. ships. And the rest have some pistols, a little bit of util. Yeah, I think the Galil has come into its own recently. We see a lot more of it. I just want to see what the approach is here from these boys, right? They said they're here for experience. Well, let's see what they've got already. And Diaz again, quick up banana, the opening on terrain. He's already out of the picture, out of that tech timeout. He's in the grave, has to sit back and wait a little bit longer, but there's so much pressure. They're just pushing the issue towards B. Two of them just continuing this fight forward into the famous once Ooh. more. Brokey gets two this time, and it's Carrigan through the smoke. The bomb dropped loose, and the banana aggression stifled again. Yeah, it was looking very good for FTW there, bombarding their way up towards the top of banana. The first kill towards rain, there was no response, but quickly there was a double kill from that famous, and Carrigan dropping the bomb of the MP9. Lots of information gathered there, plenty of time. Round not necessarily over. We've got a Jill here in KST. Tucking themselves in. Does Carrigan check the corner? Maybe. Doesn't matter. He'll go down regardless. Takes him down to 15 points of health. A twist will spam the smoke. Fortunate not to get the kill there. But Jill just trying to tuck himself in. We're back to a two on two. Like I said, plenty of time, Chad. Could fall back to the other bomb site. Wherever they go, they can guarantee there'll be one man at most at yeah, the well, other bomb site. Rob's top mid here. This should be sealed right now. Look, 45 seconds left on the clock, sure, but Rob's under the porch, just ah. jumping on in. No trade potential there. The spacing was a little bit off. And yeah, easy, easy stuff there for FaZe. So 2-1, likely to be, well, 3-1 now, as it should be an yes. economical coming our way. Now, if you at home want to get 
stuck into the Pro League action, use the hashtag ESL Pro League. Maybe you've got some stuff you want to tweet mine and Henry's way. We can have a bit of a chit chat on it in exactly What's rounds that we're about to take. Takes? Hashtag. It's EP, hashtag EPL it was hot EPL takes. Hot takes. Oh, Remember, right. I mentioned <laughs> it, it kind of was uh, the English Premier League as well. But if people want to continue using the hashtag, I guess use that and the, the ESL Pro League one, so it gets collected in a different bucket. Yeah, okay. Maybe its own exclusive bucket. Yeah, that that seems to work. That's yeah. a good solution. The more hashtags, the better. I've heard. Yeah, absolutely. So as Chad said, full eco here. A couple of PG50s at the very most, and rain. Trying to sink his teeth into this one. It'll be Brokey to follow things up with the MP9 as you expect. Trying to farm some cash and twist. He's been told there's no armor. There's kills available. It's to his detriment, though, as he will be dropped by a Jill. So a couple of kills found in the full eco. Uh, nothing to be ashamed of whatsoever. And uh, Wilson have a full buy here. So can't really justify all, but you wouldn't see too many of those on the T side regardless. So should be five AKs across the board here. And uh, the first real gun round. Uh, it has to be said, FaZe will be kept relatively modest, losing a couple, if not more players each time. So they won't have boatloads of cash, but uh, certainly enough for one more buy. Now, look, uh, the desk we're talking about it earlier, and this is a, a massive talking point for FaZe here. It's the Intel Grand Slam. I agree with Yanko. You want to get it done as quick as How you like. How many opportunities have they got this year? Is that I, six I think you said so? there were six more opportunities. Yeah. That was Kassar. But if, if you win here, and then you go on and you win the major, well, you know, you're already on your way to your second Intel Grand Slam. So good get it done point. as quick yeah. as you can. Very good point. Those and nades, Chad. That is a bit of a tactical nuke. Drop top banana. Carrigan and Rain Whoa. are very, very low here. So this banana aggression seems to be part of the game plan that FTW have come in with. In these rounds, yeah. Every single round, there has been banana presence. Pistol round now forward to the first gun round. And there's just a lot of utility, a lot of bodies getting thrown in that direction. If there was only two nades, there's 141 damage. They well, absolutely keep nuked them there. You're right. I love this boost, though. This is one I like to deploy in our games. Like This can be so good for just even a couple of kills. You can stay up there and just keep ducking. Two mollies, though, right? If one of these True. heads towards dark and one of these... Two, yeah, it there looks it like is. it could be destined to do so. Great observing from Rush to the here. Actually, that's a coffin's molly. Never mind. They're safe. They get to stand, they get to try and deliver over the top of this smoke. It's Carrigan. The top of this is this twist over towards first oranges. He'll get They're one. Committing. They're going to have to clear this oh out. The spam, they know where they are now. And Aradosa is not going to clear the corner. There's one player left. Oh, it's Rain. It's they one. must have known that he was here peering around the corner. Rain, he's got the double up. Two hit the deck of the rotation. Oh. Rain with the play of the game so far. That's wild. As we said, that boost can be quite nimble. Get yourself a couple him. of picks, and they just assumed it was Carrigan in the back. The smoke deployed, I suppose. I guess they thought he was on the barrels. That's what I think, yeah. They thought he was just on top of the second barrel, perhaps, and just looking over it, but he was actually stacked. And they can't dropped the smoke just to buy right themselves there. a bit of time there. And yeah, I can't believe it either. The fact he was overlooked, he sets himself up the three frags. It was twisted, opened things up. Nice little spray towards the pool area. But this bombsite was cracked wide open. They had no idea. No one checked it. And it will be three kills. It was Ajil who was low there as well in the gray screen. Very unfortunate. Brokey backing things up. <laughs> Carrigan, he can't believe it either. Just uh, a yep. right smile there. And he's like, we shouldn't have got away with that one. That round was completely over. Oh. This time a taste of their own medicine. And boys are bitter. 4 to 1 and FTW will be taking a lot of damage here at the start. But okay. Dishon sell out as well. Aris Dosse finds Carrigan. This banana area is getting a lot of action at the start. We know that there's normally a lot of utility, right? But just the amount of beef we've got here in terms of damage and actual fights, it's yeah. going off early here today. You'd love to see it. They are certainly not scared of getting stuck in. Well, you heard KST there in the interview with Heku, right? They were talking about his time over there in the Academy. We're playing with uh, Fnatic Rising. Right. Uh, and, you know, he's talking about this is his people. This is the type of Counter-Strike he's used to. So maybe it's a little bit more fiery. We know that the Portuguese fans, they love to get loud. And maybe in the Counter-Strike, they do enjoy a bit of that aggression. I guess everybody knows Fox back sure. from his day. Yep. We're trying to look for the new gen of Portuguese. It was Portuguese. in FaZe Clan at one point, right? Yeah, OK. Very we come full ago. circle. Exactly. He was one of the founding fathers of that project, I suppose. Him and Rain, I guess. Yeah, yeah, you're right. The architects of this whole thing. In, in many ways, Chad, yes. And uh, we'll see another little tricky boost here. That's towards a Jill and Brokey looks like he's stretching his legs out now. Uh, I think in many people's book, with recent former top five Orpa in the world, Chad, would you would you have him up there? Oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah. I, I think the thing that kind of changed with Brokey, like everyone was like, yeah, Brokey's this real like passive Orpa. And then yeah. I think he got wind of it. And he was like, actually, you know what? <laughs> Anything but I'm just going to push. Right? I'm just yeah. going to get constantly Such getting stuck in. Yeah, it's really, really, really fun to watch him. Well, speaking of which, he does pick up the AWP. I'm sure he'll be up to some antics here. Stododo, his adversary on the T side here for the win. Need to start posting some rounds here. Only picking up the pistol so far. Round number seven. Impact player, of course, Brokey. Aforementioned star sniper of FaZe. Uh, he'll have a bit of a playground here. Undetected at the start. He can just steal things out. Going to be completely flashed off, though, to kick things off here. The nades will go down. Uh, Sudodo, similar situation as he'll be smoked out. There's rain. 
spamming Aros Dosse, and that's going to be another opening kill towards Banana, this time in favor of FaZe Clan. And it all comes to a bit of a standstill here, smoked out and maybe funneled towards the top of middle. The bomb's still down at T-Spawn, they have four smokes remaining within the reservoir, and uh, maybe just a mid-pick here with the AWP smoke towards Arch, and uh, we'll see whether this actually works out whatsoever, taking a lot of damage with the flames there, so Dodo has to fall back. And we hit the one-minute mark, in a few seconds here, and Carrigan decides to rotate over. He's happy with the position. Rain has found himself in the AK-47, tucked in towards logs, has no utility, no backup. This is a brave call, but is it required in a 5 and 4 chat? You have the man advantage. Carrigan thinking better of it now. Probably needs to suggest there's some presence towards the top. Maybe a flashbang over at this stage, but... Uh, not clear in the corners. Simple stuff for Rain. Yeah, two big kills. He even goes for the drop of the grenade right there. Carrigan's gonna run into the orb. KST is gonna get one back, and... Well, it is a two-on-three situation, but continuing just to fight towards bottom of Banana here. Rain's going to grab another. Two more kills coming. Oh, and a nice crispy one-tap there from Rain. Sorry, everybody. We're having some audio issues here again. Don't say that, Chad. Who would have... And uh, we'll see what they're after. Back towards Banana we go, and Brokey, like he said, anything but passive, Chad. He's just jumped through the mid-smoke and cleared all of middle, but DS had a gap there, but the smoke eludes him. And they'll sit back and wait, but all the information has been garnered already. Look at this the push. Over. Unless yeah, they is. get these kills in a B, this one's done. Miss the smoke, there's a bit oh, of a actually, gap. hold on. Okay, well, they're in. Maybe I spoke too soon. But with the rotations, I think you might be right. If Carrigan can just get one of these, oh. which he does through the smoke, Brokey with the clothesline line of the logs as well. That denies the plant, and uh, now a bit of a scramble here for FDW as they're getting picked off one by one. The bomb will not be planted, and Brokey's push has paid dividends and then some. Yeah, so the unbridled aggression that they're going to get away with in moves like that, normally they'd find themselves in second with taking a fight. But uh, just all the way down, Banana, they knew it was going to be B. As we've mentioned, there's been a lot of banana play here, up to the 7-1 to scoreline. And running away with this one. As you would expect, yeah, I let's, think it's fair to say. There's, there's Carrigan with the spam kill through yeah. the coffins. I think he had to get that to be fair, otherwise that round gets a little bit dangerous for them. But he denies the plan and it's anything, but it's quite comfortable in the end. And Sudodo picks up the orb once more, no helmet, and the same story for Didier, so he gets the AK, no armor combo check. You don't see that very that's often. That's a rarity. Uh, you don't I think see that that's a mistake, often. considering he has 1.4k uh, remaining here. So I think he's... Yeah, you're definitely onto something there. Why wouldn't you buy armor? It makes no sense. It means with a grenade, we'll do up to like 70 damage towards you now if not more. I feel like I could find the solution for this. Let me, let me, oh, I was going to say, if he dropped the orb, right, and then forgot to buy himself armor in that whole process, you know that that and can happen. Just but... a couple of bullets to the toes on the M4, you'll be absolutely rinsed. We know what it feels like with Glock armor, or Glock no armor, I should say. And uh, yeah, that, that's a weird one. We'll see if it actually affects the round here. I'm sure it will have some knock-on effects and implications. Rob's boosted towards the quad side. Smoked out is his teammate twist beneath him, but Oh, they check. It can be spammed from the apartments, but uh, we'll see if they're going to attempt that. KST with the opportunity. Doesn't go for it. A lot less pace about this one. Not just the banana biffs early, so retooling for what is looking like B now. Plenty of smokes, a couple of flashes, but one of the keys was the Molotovs that they were throwing into the now, side before. do you tell your teammates, ah, oh, I forgot to buy armor. No, you, you just don't. don't even mention it. You wait to the mod review. <laughs> you wait to, you go, yeah, look, boys, that was a bit of a mistake. You don't mention it now. <laughs> he didn't buy armor. But here they come. They're launching in. Carrigan up and over. He's gonna grab himself two. A gill's gonna get one. That's Ooh, just Carrigan now done. pinned, and they're into the site. Some fantastic kills from a gill here, but Brokia, you really gotta consider this. You're the only one over towards B right now. The rotation's still quite far away, and he won't push the issue on his own, but steps out. KST. And that should be the round. A second for FTW, very right. likely here. They've got 10,000 and 8,000 respectively on Robs and Twits, so it might be worth going for it, but they don't know the lack of armor there. That smoke should... Uh... Oh, did you just see what he did there? He just threw the grenade and completely just summoned the orb towards him perfectly. That's so sick. Okay, Twist series uh, living <laughs> in, a, in a different world than what we are. Ruins and like, kind of like brought it over with... Uh, the force of the ET itself, that's really cool. Damage here would be alright from Robs as oh three of them trundling down banana it was looking good for a few, but not gonna find anything lethal. And there it is, the second round confirmed. So alright, that was the slower pace, it was a default and a B execute. It, that was counter strike as you'd want to see it. Yeah, the no armor. Perhaps they're onto something there. Well, Save the cash. Come on now. <laughs> It does, no harm, no foul, I suppose. Exactly. And, and he, no one has to know about no it. No one has to know. So uh, he was at the back of the pack, understandably so. But uh, Agile staying agile as he jumps up towards the boxes there. And it is a nice killing sequence. We will see second round posted, but the orb saved due to the telekinesis there of twists. 
playing 3B again here, so FaZe knowing that it's likely they want to head for this. That's a half wall flash that should clear out very, very close if summoned. Roki just holding the slither of the gap with the AWP and Stadota hoping for an overstep of the mark here as once more, there's this default spread. Boiler and Hall's control looking like they want to grab that, but a bit of a stalemate over towards B during all of this. Handbags Molly, nothing towards top of Banana, and that's going to lure Brokey forward. And Stadoto, he sat there the entire round so far, and Brokey oh. just steps right out and puts him in the grave. And here they go, walking to their demise. Ooh, Brokey will meet his maker, though. Born three. Aris Dossi have a chance to actually answer back as well, but decides to fall back for the moment being. And uh, less than a minute remaining. They still have three smokes. KST will be... Holding towards Banana, that's in front of the smoke itself. So Rain, I think he goes down here, and indeed he will. A couple of peaks now have led us to a three versus three. Carrigan with no utility to speak of, and they're going to pounce on him. He needs to get one and drop off. He can't even do that. It's looking like a back-to-back -back round situation for FTW. The bomb to be planted. Twist and Rops once again asking what the hell's going on over there. We had a five on three, Chad, and they offered themselves up. It was the, the over-aggression, perhaps, of the AWP after they get that advantage, and then maybe he's getting a bit too carried away, trying to push down, and assuming the T's were behind their smokes, they're actually already in front, and it's an awkward finish this time. They won't be able to HG the grenade into their hands, and uh, there it is. They have to save two rifles. Yeah, okay, giving away a couple here, FaZe. You know, they've obviously had some more aggressive maneuvers right now. They're going to take a lot of these fights, and this is something, Henry, that I know that... Uh... Well, with easy skins, I guess that's probably one of the only uh, options, which is is not as I'm going to explain right now. But uh, back in my day, when you'd come up against some of the best teams in the world, you'd have to kind of buy their respect. Right. And by doing so, that would come with making sure you have all the protocols or you, your standard early utility so they can't just get away with the pushes, make sure your defaults are quite well buttoned down. And at that point, then they will have to start respecting you, right? But early stage, phase, they're still doing moves. They're still flashing for each other. The utility's there, but they're just going to try and beat you down with their aim alone as opposed to playing these rounds necessarily by the book because they don't have to. Yeah, well, like I said, in a five on three, they're a little bit too loose for my liking. Uh, quite aggressive. The round's already over in that scenario, if you ask me. Full back, hold the crossfires. That's by the book. But uh, like you said, showing a, a lack of respect, perhaps trying to just shut down the rounds quickly. And uh, we'll continue to do some damage here towards Banana. Good grenades as Stododo down to 14. And once more, Carrigan just pushing the envelope here. This time, the barrel pushed into the skull of Aristotle as well. And that's going to be another five on three. They need to convert this one, or money's going to be a massive problem for them. I think they should be all right this time around. Two players still towards Banana. They've been able to get Carrigan out of middle here as well. So after the aggression, they can relinquish that control. FTW need to try and fight back for this. And all three of them now turn their sights towards A. I mean, no way back in towards B. Archie's looking like a bit of a problem here. You have got Brokey set up with Carrigan as well. A brutal crossfire. Sniper takes first contact. If you nail the shot as well, they're in an incredibly strong position. Carrigan is to finish things off. Clean as you like. Five players survive and more aggression there. Pushing down towards the bottom of the middle. That's certainly not by the book. They're doing that a lot and it's working out for them. Uh, a couple of rounds, they'll throw the advantages away, but so far, so good. Phase looking quite comfy. There is another full buy available on the T side. This is the push. Uh, Arizdotti had no idea what was going on there. They threw the smoke. Rain capitalizes and Brokey just uh, pretty standard all procedure for a player of his stature. Yeah, it's really brave, you know, picking a top mid with no smokes or mollies down on either side. It's... I guess you're right, yeah. <laughs> Especially you know, people, when you know the orbs there. People talk about a lot of angles on a map like uh, Tuscan. Think about how many angles that you have in like pre-fire and check as you're coming up close mid, right? You right. obviously have the close fights the t the, over towards trash, on the corner, the on the roof, on the balconies. And here we go. Oh, this more time, damage. not straight out of the gate's aggression, but they will push the issue. Rain, oh, he's going to be in the fire and will burn. So good response to utility there from FTW. That's going to leave Carrigan. Only man towards B for now, but the rotation of Brokey's already here. He's willing to fight, isn't he? He's not falling back towards the bomb site itself, but like you said, has got Brokey looking for the boost now. Anyone jumping up towards half wall? And they might further aggress here. Here comes the flash, and they'll have to turn from it. And this could be the moment. Great shot from Brokey there. They've seen Carrigan. They've got the information now. Do they still stay and fight? Jeez. Bit of an overcommitment there from Carrigan, I would say. Another opportunity to fall back, and they don't take it. Now on the back foot of some sort, because we do have a three versus one essentially towards the B-bomb side. Brokey with the orb. As long as he gets one kill, I think this is under control, but we'll see what happens here. Once again, vaulting above them, and he does hit a great <laughs> shot. Aras Dosse will filling that one in the morning. Two versus two, a Jill low. Going for the plant here. Twist can find him. A little off the mark there. And he'll wave the back up in the form of Rops. They, of course, have kits. They have a smoke and a flashbang. I would say advantage phase clan, but this is the all-important kill towards the pool area. Low HP. Jill didn't stand a chance, but can KSD 
rise to the occasion here. Has to find early damage, bring it down to a one versus one early. Twist down to 15 points of health, but they know exactly where he is. His days are numbered here, but there's the all-important kill. One versus one now against oh. Rops, who's just outpositioned him. Got the AK-47 as well. Deals out the damage, and it will be the round in favor of FaZe. Beautiful. Okay, well, handled that retake right there. But you can see that it's just Fight Club right now for FaZe. Like, the fact exactly. that they're going for a lot of these biffs is yeah. not the way that they would normally be approaching these scenarios here. But extending this lead once more. And look at all the utility coming Rain's way here. He's still going to stand and fight because he's committed to that point. But there was flames. There was nades. It was very rough right there. And you were right. If Brokey didn't get that kill onto the pool player. Right. And it was a 2v3 uh, T advantage in the site. Two more. KST, whichever way you're inclined, will go for the AK-47. If you just take a look at the ADR for Rain and Carrigan, well, Brokey as well with over 100 ADR, right? These individuals, you can tell they've been getting the most action so far in this game, right? Oh. It has been very B-centric with a lot of the plays over there. 16 kills of Brokey and Ray. Yes, and uh, broke you with that float AWP on the map, right? He's going to be here, there, and everywhere. But Robs, he hasn't necessarily been needed a whole lot until <laughs> now. They just spotted him. Like, what? Fullback, lads? He's, oh, he's already... Sorry, DDS. Oh, no. That is running into him now. Discombobulating the offense here. Robs with uh, a hat trick very early on into the round. We've got 1 minute 20 left. It was a partial buy, but still heavy investment on a couple of players here. And Robs... He wants a bit more. Ah, oh, give him an ace. Can we have another ace? We've already had one from Twist. That was uh, true. a beauty with the oh, Famas on the him. second. Oh! Dinks him. Oh. Yeah, I hate to see that. Wanted that one for the highlight reel. Did old Ropsy boy, but Twist here get the final and 10 confirmed. Now, uh, this is a quick game, and I think that's what most of us expected, right? That, yeah. That, 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 Not in terms of scoreline, the actual rounds themselves, right? It feels like they're lasting, what, like uh, 20 to 25 seconds each time with the aggression coming through. The yeah, round's already true. decided. Um, before it even really gets going. There's no chance for a default here. You can't even get set up. If Rops is making these sort of plays, like, what can you do? You're being Molotov, Dow flashed off, and uh, gunned down. Like I said, pound for pound, uh, has to be said, phase are swarming them. Well, overpass up next, and then Ancient around the corner if we do need to get there. Now, Yanko was talking about the fact that uh, he's no longer a Na'Vi fan after the whole situation with Endpoint, right? We, d we do need to make sure that we continue oh, no. the conversation about this being a round robin group stage and the fact that some of the the, the better teams Carrigan if they wouldn't. do slip up yeah let's see how far he goes shall we he wouldn't surely of course he would <sighs> well i guess you deserve that yeah but if he got away with it henry imagine exactly, you know yeah. Carrigan lives on that side of uh, schrodinger's box <laughs> true but uh brings him to a four and four which technically does favor the t's on a map like inferno Going off towards quad and a double pit set up here for twists and robs a deadly duo main part of the fragging unit of course and uh back towards b potentially here still plenty of time like we said these these rounds and these frags are happening very early on the round you can kind of assess the complexion of the situation and for now they feel like b is the better option for them be up against rain though who's got the incendiary the poison Feeling too comfortable, buys himself about seven seconds there, but the extinguisher. Oh, it might be good. Yeah, look at oh, that. Oh, wow. Down the pocket. That does a 100 damage. A bucket load of damage. Rotations here. This is the perfect delay strategy from Rain. Exactly what you need from your B anchor in all of this, and they're just going to waltz on in. Stay alive now, Rain. By that time, Brokey will come over. They don't have a smoke for the coffin's position. Brokey will capitalize oh. upon that. Does he ever? A double headshot sequence of the AWP and Desert Eagle. That one's going to be in the highlight package for sure. Lovely work from him. 11 to 3. And uh, once again, FaZe looking comfortable after the early advantage. Carrigan gives up a kill towards T-Steps, but still, that is such an iconic duo there. The AWP and Eagle, especially in the smashing heads like that. Very nice to see. Oh, aggression, again. Bit of a trademark for Brokey here. Over the flames, the Dodo down, and Ooh. felt like he was taking a breath or two. The Deers will get one back, but... Here we go. Rob's had a chance. This is going to be the fourth <laughs> round right now. What so, is this round? No, but this is it, right? It, it's showing you, if you win your Aim Jewels, yeah. you can win a round against FaZe. Absolutely true. They haven't won just yet. It's a final round. There'll be no saving here, at least. So Carrigan and Rain looking to cause as much damage as possible. It's a tall order. Not sure if it's possible, but it all starts here. He spotted the boots of the player towards second middle. He'll check it out again. Carrigan should get his kill, no problem. There it is. The DS taken down, but the round potentially decided now. Rain with the smoke. The M4A1S. But unfortunately for him, he's actually smoked off himself, and time is of the essence. We hit the halfway marker, and I think just trying to find a couple of kills, get a 20 bomb before the half ends. That yeah, might be something. Look at the stat padding right here, Rain. Show us what you got. Really no time to rent the there round now. That's some crispy aim. The damage on the... Turned it on yet. They haven't started playing real, quote-unquote, real Counter-Strike, right? With all the uh, the setups, the crossfires, the retakes. They're just pushing and finding kills. And speaking of which, 
Sedodo looking to replicate that now with the dual elites, pushing him towards the apartments. Doesn't fully commit, though, on the CT side. Would need this pistol here. They did manage to win the pistol in the first half, but the second round eluded them. So in terms of the setup for phase here, much slower. A couple of smokes set up here. And towards the arc side. Flashbang towards quad and just group up mentality here. And KST does not nail that first shot. But Stododo baited in with those dual elites and he actually manages to step up here. Twist will be removed, but presumably will be dropped down. He gets himself a second frag, but Rain and Rops will be causing absolute chaos okay. on the A side. Well, there's two flashes for Agil here. That's the key back into this round right now if you are FTW, but how potent are these post plants going to be? One towards Graveyard, one site, and floating around that boiler room is going to be Carrigan, but creeping through the smoke. Rain now, he's taking some fights, and it's going to be Rops just poking up his head from the graveyard and puts one in the dirt, six feet under. Rain chimes in for one more, Ooh, but... Nice shot. Maradose, that is big on the USP, a one on three. This would be one way to get the fire started for FTW. So... He tries to feign out the defuse. Carrigan not taking the bait whatsoever. And now he's in a lot of trouble, but the oh! position is not great from Carrigan. It's a pre fire. No time. But no time. You're dead on there, Chad. I was about to say, that's a fantastic result for Aras Dosse, but no time. And uh, the round will slip by the wayside. It was looking very good there for a second, but uh, there it is. Well, he can get out, out an M4. If he doesn't have, if he has the M4A1S on, he could actually get out an M4A1S and True. armor right here for a second round force fight. Great second shot there from Sedoto, but Rops coming down from that balcony was quick. These were tidy, very tidy shots. So look, Carrigan there ready to peel once he taps that bomb, but unfortunate it's on the time. An interesting question is this. Should the M4A1S be cheaper, $2,900 compared to the M4 when it's actually better? And I, I kind of just live in, in, in the world where this is the meta we're in right now. Yeah. I, I try not to question those things if too it, much. Because if they're the same price, I think it would be perfectly balanced at that point because it's still, you've got the option, it's not quite as good. But uh, either way, the Galil is absolutely fine for this round as Brokey will absolutely eviscerate Stododo at the very top there. He had the scout, I believe. So uh, there it is, an early five on four, 12-4. The overall scoreline here as FaZe continue their campaign on Inferno. This was picked by FTW as well, Chad. So uh, alarm bells going off at this stage, I would say. Definitely so. And it's a B stack as well. So this would be a save uh, if it does end up towards A. We just got one player waiting, KST. He's got double digits so far, but uh, not exactly the position to get multiple frags up and towards the apartments with the Deagle. Especially he's if they wrap around Arch yeah, as well. Yeah, he's very aware he's going to drop the smoke, but no, he thinks I might need this hidey hole, and that will be... It's not even worth fighting for, even if you're him. Might as well save with the rest of the boys here. He might get a cheeky kill in Boiler or something, you're right, but uh, yeah, a, a kill in getting out, because as soon as this bomb gets planted and he walks into ROPs like that, the round is over. I, look, the, one of the things here that I suppose goes... Under, well, it's not underappreciated. Okay. I guess for the viewers who are only watching elite level Counter-Strike, the expectation that pros are going to hit shots as soon as somebody swings around a corner is, is pretty high, right? But if you actually play a little bit of Counter-Strike yourself, you can uh, appreciate just how sharp these players are at yeah. producing these shots. Now, a lot goes into that, obviously knowing what your teammates are doing, knowing what utility, even knowing what the call is, so you know where to look and watch. But still just the crispness in some of these shots, I, I think that... oh quite remarkable as we're getting a, a reverse boost back up onto the T-side balcony here. I don't think I've ever I've, seen anybody bother with that before. <laughs> Probably for good reason. Didn't work out. Um, yeah, nice idea though. If you wanted to hunt saving CT players, checking if they're in towards the kitchen, cooking up a storm, but uh, they're actually saving towards B. So uh, they won't be found. Very clean round there from FaZe. Nice little A split, mid control coming through. It was a shot from the Galil of Brokey that opened things up, take down the scouts. That one here. Stood Dodo, yes, very nice. And then this round was over as soon as Rob's found the kill in towards the boiler room. But as we mentioned, three saved weapons, the DS with the M4A1S. It's crazy that he didn't, uh, that we didn't have uh, Aras Dosse hold on to that, right? That he actually dropped it to the DS with, right. they both had the same configuration of Kevlar and the M4. So curious. Um, from what I've seen, the DS is the highest rated player, right? So maybe there's something there, he's a specialist. Uh, okay. We'll but uh, I bet we all want to be a silenced M4 specialist. <laughs> yeah, true. Well, there's the uh, car one-way smoke. Flashes over the top. Brokey trying to crack things open once again. He's having fun out there at this stage. He's got 20 kills, 10 deaths, but uh, so aggressive every round, willing to take every jewel, and rightly so. He's winning the lion's share of them, and we'll see if Twist can replicate that form as he has a little battle here towards Banana. Tags up to DS, down to 74 HP, and remember, they saved Deagles and Armor and the M4 here, so uh, a competitive round. Uh, not so much in terms of utility. We'd have to have a lovely little trick up their sleeve, a boost, a crossfire, something 
to initiate some kills here. Otherwise, I'll be completely stifled by the smokes. How does Aras Dosse on the B bomb sound on his lonesome with a deagle sound? Not great, I'll be honest. He's towards Emo, though. It can be good for a couple. Rosso not going to miss that. He spotted the shoulder of the Diaz. That's the rifle removed. And unless you're hitting that shot straight away, it's unlikely you get much more going. And indeed, Carrigan confirms it. Rob's holding the flanks and is looking to farm kills. I think he goes down eventually. Indeed, he does. And uh, there we have it. A jill. The Dodo will save the M4. Potentially an AK-47. Well, it spoke too soon. Just the M4 available here. So another clean round, 14 to 4. Chad, it's going to be a long, difficult path on the way to making a decent go of this one. Yeah, and, and this is kind of what we were expecting. I don't think anybody was... Uh expecting an upset today from FTW. Not in the opening game. I think that's the one you really have to make sure you, you batter down the hatches. And not to say FaZe are dropping their, their full game here, but still, like, you can see they're not giving anything up. They're playing uh, classic Counter-Strike, uh, a bit more puck style, I suppose, but it's looking very clean and healthy for them. Uh, very happy to push around together, taking the frags and not having to rely on the strategies or executions so much. Well, let's reflect forward a little bit into the rest of today's fixtures. We obviously have Overpass and Ancient coming up next in this series if we do need them. But then later on, we have Outsiders taking on Big. That's the game of the day. And G2 versus MIBR at the end of the day. What's the game of the week, you know? Uh, I would say FaZe versus G2. Ooh, yeah, that's fair. Twists, come on, mate. Give him a chance, at least. That's absolutely massive. Give him a chance, Henry. I don't think they're going to get one. It's not looking too good at all here. Five on three and a double kill from Twist. The M4, a chance, though. Oh, not the cleanest. Needs a reload here and won't get it. Rob's be waiting for him towards the apartment position. Four on two. We do know there's at least one player towards B. There has to be. And Stododo needs multiple kills. Even if he gets his frag, they'll know exactly where he is. The bomb's still on T-spawn, at least. So they can't rush this situation too much. I'll have to go recover it, scoop it up. Who's been given that task? It's gonna be rain. Suppose we should plant the bomb at some point, lads. Let's, uh, let's go grab it. I guess you can get the same result done two separate ways. Shoot all the baddies or plant that bomb. And up he comes. So with Top Banana contained, Twist is gonna have a lot of early information on Whereabouts these CTs may be saving. They've committed to a B-side stack or a save very early here, so really no information for them whatsoever over towards A. And Rain repositioning on the plant. There we this go. means they'll be able to save in pit. Exactly. So there you go. It's the little details, guys. Yeah, Inferno with the new bomb blast radius. You do have to plant there specifically if you'd like to save in the corner of the pit. Still have to be worried about the dosier grenade, though, Chad. Of course. You do yes. need to be worried about that. The sex bomb. Was that its official title? That was the official title, yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I ne that never made it to me. It's good, isn't it? It is good, yeah. No, I, must, I must have missed that. All right, well, they know where they are. It's how long can they hold on to these guns? A gill's got two. Stododo being able to pluck one out of the pack here, but he would love to hold on to this AWP. Rop, 16 kills to his name on the prowl, on the hunt. And oh, Stodo signifies his position with the missed shot, but we'll confirm on the second. Everybody goes down, but it's just one more round now for FaZe. And guess what? You've got Kassad, Yanko, and Trace. They're beautiful faces around the corner. Ready to break down this tactical game. Yeah. Well, you know what they could do? Because we may as well give them a couple of nuggets here of what to sure. discuss. Um, about, like, CT aggressive maneuvers on Inferno, right? Uh, that might be a discussion point because we saw a few different moves. So maybe, yeah, maybe that's something pistol, that they could hone banana, in Banana, yeah. down middle. Uh, lots to speak of there, but, like, not very traditional. That's kind of, like, old approach to Counter-Strike. So a lot of teams do that back in the day. But uh, great to see it be rolled out once more. You might get one in a round, right? Exactly. Where you get the one like YOLO down mid with the M4. But look, I remember. Well, let's focus on this last round, shall we? We can remember in the future as Harris Dosse. Yeah. Nay, nay, nay. He might be able to get the double kill here. Did Diaz, but Brokey just not missing any shots whatsoever. Looks like it could be the final round. Did Diaz Molotov out of position? Has a chance to get back, but he's got two flames to get through now. Down to the six points of health. Four and three. Sedodo. KSD healthy, and they will back up that big bomb side. Finds the bomb, but in the boiler room, Robs will strike, and uh, the advantage stays on their side of the server. And unfortunately, A's open once again, another guaranteed kill. Chad, we are done.
Well, just, sorry. just the Dodo here in a one on three. Oh, that's going to be the quickest map so far in the ESL Pro League. Well, I know that Mihao and his mob, they keep track of the, the quickness I'm of the matches. Yeah, so let, maybe we can reach out and go back. Let's hey, find out. I'd love to know. Get League Ops on the line. I'd love some stats, and I'd love to know if this is the quickest one so far. My gut feeling tells me absolutely yes. I would like to know which is the quickest game in Pro League history as far as the data goes back. I think, yeah, that's also important. We should keep a little tally of uh, where that goes throughout the week. So just give more people more work, you know? That's... Yeah, well, that's one thing that I like to do is give everybody else. <laughs> Small work. <laughs> Save myself that little venture. It's the Dota. There's the first. Brokey down. Flash no forward. Yep, you're right. But let's see. Can he at least make some magic happen here? This would be miraculous. But Rain finishes 